Okay, this one's on the sequence of the BLU uh, train gas furnace. So we're going to start right here. Uh, thermostat closes, that means power goes from R to W. Uh, when it hits W, it goes through this wire here. Okay, it goes down to this rollout switch right down there. Then it goes up to the limit right there. After it goes to the limit, it goes over to this switch right here, which is a limit switch for high vent temp. And then it comes back up and goes to the inducer board. What it's going to do, if power gets through the limit switches, it's going to come back and it's going to uh, start this the sequence of this board. First thing it's going to do is turn on the uh, inducer. I'm going to turn it on now. I can hear the silly thing come on. And it's going to drop in its speed in just a sec. There it goes. It dropped its speed from high to low. Okay, I'm going to explain how that works. When power gets to this little board, it turns on high speed of the inducer, which is right there. Then we have a this pressure switch is hooked right to the inlet. Uh, let me see if I can get down to that. You can see it goes right to the inlet of the inducer. What it does is when the uh, pressure drops, this is negative pressure, when the pressure drops to a certain vacuum, then this closes. When it closes, then that little circuit board down below that we were looking at a minute ago, that board sees that the pressure switch has closed and it starts a short timer and uh, it usually ends up being you know 10 or 15 seconds as you saw it happen and it goes to low fire. What's happening there is if the pressure does not drop to the point where that pressure switch is satisfied, then it doesn't go to low speed. Now that's kind of its way of adjusting for the vent length. If there's a long vent length, it's not going to drop. If there's a short vent length, it will. And, I don't know, it's kind of a poor man's variable speed inducer, I guess. Anyway, um, that's what that pressure switch is for. So you'll oftentimes see that uh, motor drop from high speed to low speed, and that is normal. Okay, the next one is the lower pressure switch. Now the lower pressure switch is hooked between the power source and the power source at this point is down at this little uh, the little board. When the vacuum on this pulls enough, now this one also pulls a vacuum, but it just goes down a little farther down the inlet pipe, closer to the uh, uh, secondary heat exchanger. But when this closes, then it transfers power down to the ignition control. Okay, there's the ignition control. Once that pressure switch is closed, it gets power and it begins the sequence. This starts the timing for the hot surface igniter. Hot surface igniter warms. And then you get a trial for ignition. And that means the gas valve opens. It opens for, I think, about six seconds. Uh, then the flame rod has to sense flame in that time. And if it does sense flame, then it continues to operate. Uh, now we have our burners on. 
and we've got a heat operated fan switch just like on the older furnaces the heat operated fan switch has to warm up turn on the circulating fan that's pretty much the sequence on this thing uh, we'll dig into the burners and some of the other things uh, in later videos